We're Tim and Nancy Bass, Sunburst Tomatoes. We're in Nash County, North Carolina, in a little place called Momire, which is probably about two or three hundred people in the town. We got started in farming, or at least I did. Um, I was raised on the farm where I was born at there. has been in my family since the early 1800s, passed down through the generations, uh, through death or inheritance for all those years. I did not inherit the farm from my father. Um, he had a few bad years of farming back in the early 80s and I actually started farming in the late 70s and um, he was getting on up in age so I bought out him uh, during that time. Approximately 100 acres on the farm. Trees and cropland combined is right at 100 acres. Early on when I started farming we had all your basic row crops, tobacco, soybeans, cotton. Also had a chicken house. Me and Nancy got married in the early 90s. We decided to stay on the farm and our farm, but we needed a new direction. Um, just didn't like the way the situation was going with tobacco and stuff, so tried to want to venture out and try some different crops. In 1992, we helped start a farmer's market down in Rocky Mount. That's still in operation. It's doing real good. It's grown. We have a building and all now. Common things to customers will say, well, you know, we need tomatoes, you know, early on. So through some connections and all, we learned how to grow greenhouse tomatoes, and that's how we start started in the greenhouse tomato business and we're still selling there now. Started doing some wholesaling through NCDA, got in touch with some of the local restaurants in the Raleigh area and that's how we got involved with Eco. They needed a tomatoes and all and we were already selling to some of their restaurants they were dealing with. The variety of tomato we grow is trust. It's a greenhouse variety. It's bred mainly for greenhouse um, use. It does real good in the greenhouses, it's different characteristics as far as flavor and all. Some of the newer varieties of greenhouse tomatoes are developed more for shipping purposes. But a lot of times we get asked, you know, what's your season like? We start tomatoes in early November and we'll start picking roughly mid to the end of February, pick until mid-July. The hardest part of the season is that stretch from April through June. Since it's just me and Nancy on the farm, we pretty well work seven days a week during that time without any days off. It might not be a complete day of work, but we work at least a half a day all of those days. And a lot of days are, you know, a full day. All we do pretty much during that time is live in the greenhouse or something associated with the tomatoes. We pick, pack, deliver, and also we um, sell at three farmers markets on Saturday. Uh, she goes to one, I go to one, and we have our, her sister does one farmers market for us. So it's pretty well a seven day a week job during that time. Like we pick on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, we do that first thing in the morning and depending on how long it takes us, depends on what we do later on in the day. Each plant has to be touched a minimum of one time per week. Of course you're touching each plant three times when you pick each three days a week, but then on those other days you uh, have to pull out suckers, clip the plants back up to the wire, pull off leaves down on the bottom of, plant, of the plant. You have to lean low when the plant gets too tall. So it's a pretty constant, something to do all the time with the plant itself. Probably what we enjoy most is being at the farm. I mean, it's seven days a week when it's wide open and hectic and all, but we enjoy working there at home. We get along together good, me and her do. We don't fuss and fight too much till you get too stressed from all the work. And we don't hire any outside labor. Or we might hire just a very little bit. I mean, maybe sometimes a year, maybe somebody might help us for a couple of hours a week in the greenhouse, something like that. Some simple job that somebody can do to give us a little bit extra time to do the other things that need to be done in the greenhouse. At this time, we're looking to expand. Eco's expanding, and we'd like to grow to more tomatoes or other produce to sell. Our son would like to come back to the farm at some time and uh, work there on the farm with us, him and his family. That's where he really wants to be. He has um, went to college and has worked in public job now for two or three years. And the longer he's away, the more he realizes that he, you know, he misses that farm life. The um, what goes on there at the farm. You can, you know, you, you if your family's there on the farm with you, you might not be seeing them while you're working. But if you run home at lunch to eat lunch, your family, your children are there, and you can see them during that time instead of leaving in the morning at 6 or 7 o'clock and not getting home till 6 or 7 o'clock at night and by then all the children are wore out and ready to go to sleep so he just wants to be involved there in the farm where everybody can be a little you know a little group there and 
everybody's just happy working down the same place.